Older, a portrait of photographer and activist Alex Rotas. Audio introduction. Alex Rotas challenges stereotypes around ageing through her thought-provoking photography of older sportswomen. In this portrait, Alex discusses the issues surrounding women of all ages around how we look and act, and shares her own experiences as a young female tennis player growing up in the 1960s. This short film is shot in Alex's office. She is mostly sat at her light wood desk with both laptop and desktop computers showing her photography on the screen. There is a matching bookshelf behind and pictures and photos adorn the walls. Alex is a white woman in her early 70s. She has short silver hair, is 5 foot 3 and has a slim athletic physique. She is wearing a white cotton t-shirt and has stylish grey framed glasses. Her style is mainly action portraiture, meaning she focuses on individuals while they are competing and isolates them by blurring their surroundings. She concentrates on capturing their facial expressions, whether that be determination, concentration or happiness. By making sure their faces are dominant, she also makes their age very clear to the viewer. When Alex is talking about her childhood, there are black and white photos of her in a swimsuit as a child and several photos, newspaper clippings and some memorabilia from her tennis playing days. End of introduction. She's undoubtedly old. I mean, there's no way you can pretend that this is a young woman. You know, it's it's sort of this annoying thing that people think they're giving you a compliment when they say you look younger than you are, as though we should want to look younger. She looks her age, and she looks, to my mind, absolutely bloody marvellous. A photo of a white woman in her 80s. She is running in a competition, smiling. You know, you can see see the wrinkles, you know, you can see the skin. That's what happens to our skin, right? It's happening to mine. You can still look wonderful. Alex is in the corridor, looking at her enlarged, framed photos that are hanging on the walls. In her office, a large photo of a female runner next to white wardrobes. The words, Alex Rotas, photographer, activist, appear. Older tennis players, older athletes, older sportsmen and women, those were the words I put in, and waited for the images to come up, and there were none. The moment I put in that word older, what I got were pictures of old people, basically in care homes, kind of slumped in chairs, the kind of negative imagery that was absolutely dominant when you started thinking about ageing. But I knew from playing tennis, there were plenty of us in our our 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s and beyond, being active and being anything but what those images that I was looking at represented. In a world where we girls and women are co- uh, constantly policing ourselves as to how we look. Do we look feminine enough? Do we look kind enough? Are we people pleasing? And suddenly you're seeing these older women who are unselfconscious about facial expressions, also throwing their bodies around with abandon. It was a massive lesson for me. As something I just thought was, that needed to be documented. At an indoor athletics competition, a white woman in her late 60s does the pole vault. Another in her early 70s finishes a track race. An older white woman hands a black woman in her late 40s a medal. Alex is wearing a high-vis jacket and holds her camera. A woman in her late 50s does the long jump. Well, I've always been sporty. And when I was, when I was a young kid, I loved swimming and I wanted to swim in the Tokyo Olympics of 1964. That was my goal. So I was was quite good in the under 10s. And then I started playing tennis and I got fixated on tennis because my best friend at school was a tennis player. The standard over here was really, was was phenomenal. And although I was kind of a, a junior county player, I wasn't really up there. But in Greece, I was up there. So I started playing as a Greek because I got dual nationality. Going to Wimbledon and playing at Wimbledon 
I can't even begin to describe how wonderful it was because I went to school in Hammersmith and I, 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 was, I lived near Putney Bridge. So after school, um, right from the age of 12, 13, I used, we used to get the train to Southfields and queue up and get the tickets that, that you, you'd get in after five. So I was used to, to going and being a fan and just being obsessed with Wimbledon. And suddenly I was, I was going through a player's entrance. I had a badge. Oh, gosh, it was just, it was amazing. A black and white photo of Alex at Wimbledon. I don't think I could have coped playing in an Instagram world with the kind of body shape that I had. And there's no way I, I, I would have coped. I would have felt too vulnerable, too self-conscious, um, too exposed. Mm. What a loss that would have been. Well, wow. I mean, there's this negative imagery about getting older. I had just turned 60. I didn't really think of myself as old. I thought I'm kind of middle-aged. But I love being a beginner. And that was when I thought, oh, maybe, maybe I'll take photographs. So I'll, do, I'll be the one to go and take photographs. I've got access to the tennis players. And I was off. That was goodbye academics and hello photography. Yeah. Alex's photos. Older women playing tennis, walking and swimming. Alex points at a large framed photo. So, so this is, is seriously one of my favourite pictures because I worked so hard to get that shaft of light and it was, it was in Turin in, in 2013, so quite early on uh, in my photographic career. There was a shaft of light coming through a hole in the roof. I fixed my camera on the woman who was running in that lane and I just hoped that I would get her as she came through. Alex points at a photo of a black woman on her computer. Rose Green is 80. And I mean, she is just a phenomenon. This was her in Malaga, year before last. She just became world champion in the 400 meters. And I'm, I mean, look at the, the muscle tone, the muscles. Look at the body. I mean, that doesn't just happen. She's 80. 80. A woman is holding a javelin and smiling. So on the wall, that is... That is Linda Oxlade. I love that picture. And I, I, I put it above my desk so I can look at it every day, really, um, and just think why I do what I do and, and what I love about sport and, and what it can give us. And, um, yeah, she embodies all of that and, and how it just, I mean, age, it doesn't, it doesn't change. Whatever your age is, you can still really love your sport. Film by Danielle Selwood. Stills photography by Alex Rotas. Photo of adult Alex, Baris Barlas. Sound editor, Anya Prisgoda. Music by Chad Crouch and Lloyd Rogers. Produced by Find It Film. Supported by Independent Age. <laughs>